Roderick Robinson, the second out of Lincoln High School in San Diego, California, making his college announcement in just seconds right here on CBS Sports HQ. A few weeks ago, Robinson announced the final six at Arizona, Auburn, Cal, Oregon, Tennessee, and UCLA. He has also added Georgia and Texas A&M to the mix. Robinson is a six foot one, 230 pound back who's regarded as one of the top running backs on the West Coast. He was going to wait to make his announcement of his commitment until later this summer, but he said, I've seen all the schools. I know where I want to be, and I feel really good about that. All right, it's your time, Roderick. Welcome back to CBS Sports HQ. We are ready for it. This is your moment. Share your decision with the world. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God because, you know, without him, none of this would be possible. Uh, I want to thank him for all the blessings I've received and all the blessings I have yet received. Secondly, I want to thank my parents for always pushing me. They've instilled great discipline into me, and I feel like without that, I wouldn't be here today. I want to thank all my, my coaches for pushing me out to all these colleges and, and just them taking the time out their day to, to work extra for us, not only on the football field, but, but behind closed doors. All the work they're putting for us is, is unmatched. I'd like, like to thank my teammates just for competing with me every day because without them, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here today as well. With that being said, I'll be committing to the UCLA. I love it. Love all the gear there. Let's dig in a little bit. Why did you pick UCLA? All right, looking good in the blue. All right, why did you pick UCLA? Why was that your choice? Not only, I mean, being close to home wasn't too big of a factor for me, but it's right up the road. So that was nothing but a plus. I feel like I have a great relationship with Coach Foster and Coach Kelly. Coach Foster, he's been to the NFL at my position. So I feel like he has a blueprint. He knows what it takes to get to the NFL in my position. And Coach Kelly has been to the highest level. You know, he he's won Rose Bowls. He's been to national championships. So I think I think that was a big thing that played in my in my decision. And just the, the culture and the upbringing that they have with this team. I feel like they're going to do big things this season. And you're definitely going to help them out with that in the future. And as you mentioned, two and a half hours, not even that up the road. That definitely helps. We know how important your family is supporting you right behind, right behind you right there. Where do you want to grow the most in college to get you ready for that next level? Uh, you know, I want to grow everywhere. Uh, I'm not a complete football player. I know that. So just uh, getting better at everything that I do will, will get me ready for the next level, I think. Tell Bruins fans what sort of player they're getting in you. Not only are they going to get a big running back, I feel like I'm more versatile than most people think. So they're going to get a running back that can catch passes out the backfield and line up wherever they need me to on offense. All right, Roderick, thank you so much for sharing your news here on CBS Sports HQ. Go celebrate with your family. Congratulations. We are so looking forward to following you along on your journey. What an exciting time for you and your entire family, all your coaching staff. We appreciate all of your time. We got our four-star recruit, the number 16th ranked running back in the class of 2023, Roderick Robertson, headed to UCLA. He is going to be a future Bruin. And now we are going to welcome back our Greg Biggins, the national recruiting analyst for 24-7 Sports. So, Greg, what do you think of Robinson's decision to go to UCLA? I mean, it's, it's huge for UCLA. You know, we've been a little critical out west uh, about UCLA and recruiting-wise. You know, not always going after the, the top-level guys, but but I think they go after guys that are that are high character. Um, you know, Rod mentioned culture, and you're talking to a lot of guys on official trips this year, and they keep mentioning culture, culture, and just what a fit and the family feel. And I think that's Rod. Uh, you know, he fits that from a talent standpoint. He's a national guy. I mean, he's good enough to play for any school in the country, I believe. Uh, but I think he's a personality fit as well. And I mentioned Deshaun Foster, the running back coach who I covered when he was in high school. Kind of shows how old I am. Uh, but similar personalities, Rod said. They got along really well, not just talking football, uh, but just talking about anything. And then Chip Kelly and has had a lot of success over the past years with big running backs. Zach Charbonnet there, who, uh, there right now, who's going to be an NFL guy. And, you know, I, I think we see some stylistic similarities between Rod and Zach Charbonnet. So, you know, he can come in. Uh, he can stay close to home. Uh, he can play for a coach that he likes. He likes the culture there. Um, he likes the family feel and the offense and the scheme fit fits him as well. So I, I think it's just a lot of checks uh, that he was looking for. And, and UCLA kind of fit all those things. 
That's exactly what you're hoping for as a student athlete, that's for sure. When you kind of look at the impact, though, that he is going to have on this program, how much does this help them with that class of 2023, and how might it help them recruit others? Yeah, I think it does help. You know, I, people don't want to, you know, believe it uh, in terms of, you know, college coaches, but I think there is such a thing as momentum when it comes to recruiting. And good players want to play with other good players. And, you know, Rod is a, is a big name talent, but he's also a big name kid, especially in, you know, San Diego, Southern California. He took his visit with about eight or nine other uh, prospects. And uh, I think they're going to do really well with a lot of guys that were on that trip with Robinson. And again, I, I think, you know, UCLA, uh, if they want to come up and, and contend a little bit, uh, and the, in the Pac-12 won eight games last year. The next jump you would hope for them would be, you know, 10-11. They need to get guys like Roderick, not just guys that you want to, you know, long-term development guys, but guys that can come and play right now who have a nice high NFL ceiling. And I think Rod has that. I think other players are aware of that. Uh, he's a very well-respected kid. And again, you know, you see the serious personality, but he's also a, a fun kid off the camera. And I think he's well-liked by his peers. And I, I do think he'll have an impact when it comes to recruiting for UCLA. Yeah, and you, you mentioned it a little bit there, but what, what can we expect for him right when he gets to UCLA? UCLA? Do we think this is going to be an immediate impact player? Or do you think he needs to grow into the position a little bit? I, I think it's both. I think he can grow. I think he can get better. But I think what he does bring is that he has those hands. You know, he is one of the better running back uh, out of the backfield. At just about every camp that we've been to, whether it be a seven-on-seven -seven event, an underarm event, a national preps, uh, out of all the running backs, he's been the best receiver in that group. And I think if you can combine that with a 6'1", 230-pound frame, you know, college football, it's such a physical sport in terms of just the jump from high school uh, to college. So I, I think if you want to come in and make that immediate impact, you got to bring a certain amount of physicality, a certain amount of toughness, and that's what he has already. So he, he's kind of, a, again, he has that power back size with a little finesse game as well. And he's one of those guys who, who does everything well. You know, he, he can – Third down guy, uh, first down goal line situation guy. He's a willing blocker. Uh, so I, I do think he can come in, assuming, again, Charbonnet probably comes out for the draft after this coming season. Uh, I think Rod goes in there, and he's going to immediately be in that two, three deep uh, among that running back group for UCLA. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.